Yo, what's up? You already know it's your main man, Trash Man. You know what I'm saying? Rob, what are you behind the cam? We got Nico, we got Boo. You know what I'm saying? In the truck, the blacked out truck. You know what I'm saying? We at Princeton University right now. I'm about to see my main man, Phil Jacks. Where y'all from? I don't know a nigga nothing. Life and everything, but really till I slid out the home of Feet with the dummy teeth, thinking he's weak. Or get you swept off your feet. Nigga slid out the fuse, cause the smells out the pulpit. Got me confused, you think the trash is a gimmick? When at any time I could do away with your image, you mention me not spitting. Like the sky without stars, a map without bars, space without Mars. This is first gear, cooling on Kahlua. New a cat, we all came. I was a better than me. You already know, man. We go to Sadi Radio. We're gonna have a good time. We got Rocky with you over there, right there. You know what I'm saying? We got Betty, you know what I mean? And, uh, just having a good time, Nico. You know what I'm saying? The God, I call Nico the God because, yo, he's a dominator. Anything he touches turns to him. And so, we're going to get back with you when we do with Phil. Little League, right, this is major. Attitude 42, still bass player. Robinson, Jack and Rob the Sun for a shot. Through the earth, I'm a dominator. This is all mine. Confessions of an MC. Collecting off an MP. Reflecting off me on the MIC. How I do my, it's so cool, G. Which is why it could never be hard to get a cool G Easily off the words I speak So the same gotta align with the business be trash Buck em down, buck em down Hey yo, so, so Studio I, I crossed paths with him so many times And actually uh, I've been playing some of your music And I didn't even know you from my man, Mr. Fickle. Shout out to Mr. Fickle out there, Camden, New Jersey. Shout out to Fick, straight up. Trash man, what's good, man? Man, I'm excited, man. I'm in here with the legendary Phil Nah, Jackson. nah, you know what? I, I didn't pay him to say that. You get, <laughs> get close up to the microphone, man. I'm in here. You know, you heard me. The legendary Phil Jackson, man. Yeah, I'm in it. I mean it, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm grateful to be here. Got the team in here strong. Rob with a U, Nico the God. Betty Boop in here, man. Shout out to y'all. Camden, New Jersey. Jersey, worldwide. Now, tell me... Who are, where are you from? Well, I already said that you came from Camden, New, Camden, New Jersey, but mm -hmm. like, what part of Camden are you from, man? Man, I I, I was raised in on um, Parkside. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I ended up out east. Okay. Went to Woodrow Wilson and just destroyed all the buildings, all the cafeterias <laughs> with this, this MC and you did. Now, I got a couple of questions for you, man, because you're from Camden, right? Absolutely. And when I think of a Camden MC, mm -hmm. I think of Apollo the Great, I think of Big Lou, I think of Porter Rich, I think of Money Carson, I think of Mr. Fickle, mm -hmm. and then there's you, Trash Man. Explain the, your style of, of rapping, because it's different, because when I, when I think of a Camden MC, when people think of Camden, of course, you know, they always think of the negative, well, you know, but I don't think of the negative. But yeah, yeah. explain your style of of MC. All right. Um first first of all, first off, you know what I'm saying, they a lot of people knew me as Lockdown. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's in Trash Man is my other side. Uh, uh, Trash Man is the wild side that I think every real person has. Right. You know what I mean? People try to, you know, compare me to ODB, Bismarcky, Red Man, a mix of them, and it's like, it's my wild side. I'm from an era of real MCs, man. And um, Trash, the name says it really, you know what I mean? Really says it all, you know what I mean? Um, I trash MCs. I'm not trash, I trash MCs. I take out the garbage. There's a lot of garbage out here. So, you yeah, know what I mean? Right. I take out the trash. You now, who were some of your influences uh, growing up? Oh, man. Um, you had, you know what I mean? Run DMC. Uh, LL, Rakim, you know what I'm saying, Red Man, uh, Scarface, the Ghetto Boys. Right. Um, you know what I mean? Cats like them, Cool G Rap, 456 was one of my, you know what I mean, favorite albums ever. You know what I mean? Wu Tang. That's what's up. Definitely Wu Tang Boot Camp, you know what I mean? My homie Rob Uber to you. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Carter, you know, my squad. Now, do you get offended sometimes when people say they compare you to ODB? Because when I first heard you, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Dude is nice. I said, but he sounds something like ODB. Do you get that a lot? Yeah, with some people. I mean, I made a song called Fee Five Four Funk. Okay. And um, there was ad libs in it and, and the wildness. You know, I, I felt ODB. I don't know. Maybe he came over me. 
when I was doing what I was doing. But ODB, man, I'm missing. You know what I'm saying? Right. And um, it's not to sound like I'm in anything, but I believe that people who embrace who they are. I'm a party animal. Right. I'm the dude who don't sit on the wall, stand on the wall. Right. You know, if everybody's doing that, I go to the middle of the dance floor and I have two or three girls on me, and that's how I, how I do mine. I wild out. So I think that every real person has an ODB in him. He didn't care. He's wild. You know what I mean? So you know, he, that's how I look at that. I'm not offended. I'm glad that they would compare me to somebody who's great. Right. Now look, what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna get into two of your songs, uh -huh. and then I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna ask you a couple more questions. Then I'm gonna get into one more song. Then we're gonna talk about. Uh, your new mixtape that's coming out Halloween? Trash, trash. How many day. more days? Four Five, days. Four days? Four days. I, I love you. And you know, I want to come back and actually talk to you about how you market yourself because we, we talked off the air and I'm going to say it again. Yes, sir. That is very unique what he's doing. I think a lot of MCs, a lot of artists out there should take heed to what Trash Man is doing and how he markets himself. So what we're going to do, we're going to play two of your joints and then we can come back and we're gonna ask you some more questions and we'll close out with one of your songs so you can promote your CD and we're gonna give away one CD, okay? Trash. Thank you, Phil. Trash Man is Go gonna ahead. be out Halloween night. Yeah. Lockdown Entertainment, mm -hmm. hosted by DJ Soba. Shout out to DJ Soba, Mr. Street Sickness out there. Street Sickness, baby. Side B Radio on WPRB 103.3 FM. What type of MC are you? And do you have a purpose? Do you have a mission? Because I like MCs that actually have a mission. You don't have to be a conscious backpack rapper, but if you have a mission, do you want your, how, who do you want to hear your music? How far do you want to take your music? Do you want to be signed? Do you want to be to a major? What's the deal with you? First of all, the type of MC I am, I'm a monster! <laughs> Trash! He has too much energy for me. You know what I'm saying I'm a monster, first of all, you know what I mean? But the purpose, man, I mean, it's, it's one purpose is to get next to the, the elite MCs in the industry. It's something I gotta tell them. You know what I mean? Elite MCs in the industry, we gotta have a conversation. Alright? Um, so I'm using something that I've done all my life, which okay. is poetry, you know what I mean, to get to these people with influence because um when you have a stage like that, when you have the 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 opportunity to share to thousands of people in the audience, you have the power actually to do something in the world. You know what I mean? So I'd like to, you know, sit with the elite and do something crazy like that. You know what I mean? Give them some information. Now, I said that you're from you're from Camden, New Jersey. Yeah. Trash. What are your what are your thoughts about Camden hip hop? Is it unified? I mean, do you guys stay together? Because is it just like everywhere else that, you know, there are certain, <coughs> excuse me, there are certain factions, certain, uh, you know, crews, and, you know, uh -huh. they don't, I don't rock with these guys, just that, that. Tell me, explain to me the Camden hip hop scene. I mean, the Camden hip hop scene, man, is growing. It's doing, it's doing its thing, you know what I mean? And, and, and definitely shout out to cats like Mr. Fickle, Apollo the Great, you know what I'm saying? MCs that's, that's doing what they doing to get it on, on the map, you know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? I, Matter of fact, let me give a shout out to Young Fortune. Okay. I think people need to really pay attention to Young Fortune. He's a monster. You know, sets and clicks, you always gonna have that. You know what I mean? But I think the city is too small to be divided. You know what I mean? I think, you know what I mean? If they wanna get noticed right, you, you come together and do something. But it's a lot of egos. And in this sport, it's a lot of egos. So I'm not even focused on that or being a king of, uh, of a place that's only eight miles. You know what I'm saying? My story of Camden is deep and I think that the world you know what I mean, who's came up like me in poverty or anything like that will understand. You know what I mean, I think it's a Camden everywhere. But, you know, MMCs, them rappers or whatever, do they think they can have that? I'm going to the world, you know what I'm saying? Now, the mission, you said the mission statement. Yeah. Now, do you want, now is the goal to be signed to a, to a major or you still want to be indie? I, I'd love to be independent. It depends on what a label is offering me. If they take away my creative control or my freedom to think and say what I want to, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, then I can't sign with them because, you know, I have too much integrity. So the money can't buy me. And I and I believe if I'm bought and I say some things that I don't believe in, then I've already, you know, I've defeated myself. And what's the point in even, you know, getting next to elite to the elite and saying anything? They won't listen to me at that point. Yeah, stay independent. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Stay independent now. I, I'd like to get major distribution. Okay. Now, not everybody will. I know. I, I, I can see that with you. Yeah. I can definitely see that with you because you know why? Because of the fact 
and I said this off the air. Uh huh. When you market and promote yourself, it's, it stands out a little bit more than okay. other artists. Shout out to all the artists out there because you do your thing and, yeah, you, do your, and you do your things differently. You market yourself differently. Yeah. But when I see Trash, Trash Man, you have the mini trailers going. Yeah. Not just like, like what I said earlier with the you know the, the pictures popping up and, and there's yeah. nothing wrong with that but it's short mini commercials that you put out yeah. and like what, what, how did you start that and what was the purpose behind it because that is okay. dope man all right well i've always been creative you know what i mean i've always been the dude to write poetry when i was young and write poetry to girls that i could, didn't have enough heart to talk to when i was little i was in a choir i played the trumpet i was in an all-city band when i was young you know what I mean? I, I had all these, you know, I'd say God-given gifts and abilities, you know what I mean? Growing up, you know, selling, you know, drugs and doing things like that, I noticed from a green sheet that I was given that I, I manufactured and I was a distributor of a product. Right. When I seen the charges that I was hit with, it was like you would have thought I had an assembly line. So, I, in that, I looked at myself like, oh my God, these people see me as a business. You know, and I learned that in jail, so I'm like, okay, I'm manufacturing, I'm distributing, I got product, they said I had workers and anything else. So it's like, okay, how can I switch the product? Let me switch the product, alright? One thing, Phil, before before you give me another question, is, yeah. you know what I mean, when it comes to hustling and all that, I, you know, I, I learned this too in myself, it was like, okay, I think if you got good product, it'll sell itself. Right. In the drug game, it'll sell itself. They're gonna come for it. You know what I mean? Right. But when you get out here and you package up something that you believe in, like Trash Day on October 31st, yes, you know what I'm saying? When you believe in that and people believe in that with you and you give it to somebody and they take their hard earned money and buy that and they're happy with that product, it's awesome. So so when you look at the mixtape, it isn't even wrapped up like a regular mixtape. No, 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 you know what I'm it, no. And that, it actually is a hardcover, but it's like when you go into. Best Buy, yeah. not giving up. When you go to the, the retail yeah. stores, yeah, because that's what we are. Exactly. And, and presentation is everything. So it's you know, and I surround myself with great people, people that are thinkers, people that are doers. You know, shout out to lyrically fit Jay Grady for yes, giving me an opportunity to bless the stage with my man Rob Boo with a yo. But presentation, man. But surrounding yourself with people that are visionaries, people that want more out of their life. I don't care where you came from. That's what's you know right. what I'm saying? So that's what makes me different. And, and you know, people run out to the stores and buy things. You know what I'm saying? They, we buy their clothes. We buy their socks. We buy their food. We buy their everything. But when you look around you, everybody is advertising and marketing to a certain people a demographic. Right. So you buying somebody's thoughts or somebody's product and they market that thing to entice you. You know what I mean? So this, you got a dope cover by Devin Wade, but the tracks got to be dope too. Yeah, the music exactly. got to be dope. So I want to give you all around good product. I want to give you something that I would like to buy. You know what? You said a mouthful, and I actually like that. And a lot of people don't stand behind. They they, they try to stand behind what they do, but they don't present it like that. And you have. I got charisma. blue. I got blue magic. <laughs> now we're not promoting. Trash. We're not promoting drugs. This that dope, baby. Trash. <laughs> No, but anyway, yeah. Go oh ahead. my God, you eating knock my phone down and uh, everything. I, I'm gonna phone back up, man. I'm gonna break something in yeah, here. Yeah, no, nah, well, you know, you know, these good white people, they, they gave us our, their station for two hours. You and know? I, I love Caucasians. <laughs> now go ahead, let's go. Now, you are behind the video camera also, and I didn't know that you directed a couple of videos out here that everybody you know is downloading and viewing and everything like that. Yeah, the videos you was talking yeah, about. Yeah, the videos, videos right? man. Yeah, so that was Be Radical, and, and you know what I'm saying, it, it wasn't trash, man, but Be Radical, he, he's a visionary too, and, and the bottom line is, you know what I mean, Locke, this other guy who's introduced on this mixtape, right. is a dude who's very creative, and, and he sees things, so when I was in Cyphers, and when I was rhyming with, with my homeboys, I could always, you know, or we could always see things, right. so, you know, me having a great mentor by the name of Andre Sauls, you know what I mean, in the Camden region, doing great things, you know, I was obedient to something he told me to do, he's doing something for the community, and he said, man, you know what, you need to videotape this, you know what I mean? He said, so he put a camera in my hand, you know what I mean, or be Radical's hand, <laughs> and, 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 and I just, you know what I mean, he started shooting, right. and he just never stopped shooting, and then, you know what I mean, and he called himself Be Radical, as far as B-E, Radical, be radical okay. about what you do, get outside the box. So yeah, I've shot Fickle's video, you know what I mean, uh, a lot of Fickle's video. Whatever you seen four years ago or five years ago that really just, you know what I mean, took it to another level, be radical, shot it. Word. Now, tell me about the mixtape that's dropping Halloween. 
Tell, mm. tell me about Trash Day, trash man. Trash Day. Yes, tell me about Trash oh, Day. Oh, man, Trash Can I host that? Yeah, can go I ahead, go so ahead. You but, but, so but, but, but I need this back okay. because um, we got okay. callers calling in right okay. now. Right. The first part, if I pick up the phone if you, and you say you want a Trash Man CD, I'll give it to you. We got one left. And whoever calls in, 609-258-1033, 609-258-1233, I'll give you the CD. But tell me about, okay, I'll let you hold it now. Okay. Tell me about Trash Day. Hosted Trash. by DJ Soba. The street sickness. I had to get I had to get with somebody who was, you know what I mean, just influential. And I and I got with Soul Buck. He's a, a wonderful individual. Yes, sir. And with this copy, the first hundred copies, it's a, it's like a radio mix. I mean, he's going in scratching. It's just a he's dropping a bomb all over it. But this mixtape. But uh, we'll call it the mixtape. It's it's awesome. I mean, the intro, Bruce Lee. You know, my real name actually is Bruce Lee. My mom was infatuated with you Bruce Lee. You know, people used to try to make fun of me, but he's a legend, and that's the song, Bruce Lee. It's my God. It's 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 a music. It's a song on here by Lot. It's called bitterness for all you people who got baby mama drama. You want to see your baby, and you just can't because of the, the the issues. But don't stop. Bitterness is something you need to hear. There's a song on here called Greed by Lop. You know what I'm saying? And and, and it's about you know how people just go on Black Friday or whatever. They just consume, consume, consume. They market it to. They consume, 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 and they'll kill you for the joints. You know what I'm saying? So you know I mean, it's crazy and, and trash, man. Oh my God, calm down. Who didn't see the video? I mean, yeah, you know, that's shout out to who helped me in that process. But it's real, man. I mean, you got the fun songs and all that, but don't get it twisted. I'm here to, you know, really get into people's lives and help people do something. That's what's up. Now, what's next after the CD? Uh, are you doing any shows? And how can people get a, you know, a hold of the CD? Okay. Halloween. I'm like, is, is it going to be distributed like digitally? Digitally Absolutely. online. Absolutely. Or physically. Yeah. Physical I mean, people like me like physical copies. Right. It's going to be on that pit for you to download at no charge to you. Just download it on that pit. You know what I mean? It might not have as many songs on there, you know what I'm saying, for that pit. It's going to be a different version, but it's going to have a lot of the same songs. But um, I'm going to be at a lot of, you know, Lyric Me Fit events and events that I go to set up, you know what I mean, right. support other MCs and artists while I'm there, and um, sell the hard copy because I believe that that's what you really want. Now, when, when's your next show? Uh, are you going to be on with uh, Lyric Me Fit? I think my next show is the 19th. I think I think it's at Mojo, Mojo Main in Delaware. Shout out Word. to everybody in, in Delaware. And shout out to all my fans. Shout out to all my people across the bridge, Delaware, Westchester, all over Jersey. Man, but they've been showing me mad love on the other side of the bridge and in Delaware. And then we, man, it bring a tear to the trash, man. Trash, trash. Buck them down. Trash. Buck them down. Hey, yo, so I want you. Buck them. Drop whatever. Buck them down. Trash. 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 Trash.